Power Apps uh, is is one of the platform that uh, platform as a service that Microsoft offered, and it's it's a cloud, uh, it's in cloud, and if uh, if you wanna build your own app without any experience in to code or write a script, uh, Power App is a uh, very easy to to manage uh, a very good good uh, place to start if you want to build, build your own app and plus the fact that um, it is Microsoft um, so if you build your own app in an easy way uh, you can also uh, it can also um, easily or directly um, associate with other services that uh, Microsoft offered such as um, yeah SharePoint with other features and um, uh, Teams Outlook Excel spreadsheet so you can do a lot of things in and of course with uh, with with uh, help or integration with power automate because power automate uh, prof uh, works in a back-end approach power automate uh, is the responsible of you can create tasks that um, um, it will uh, uh, execute in a back-end way such as um, if you wanna if you have a certain email you receive and uh, you want to be notified in in the teams so you can do that in power automate and also if whenever someone wants to delete or or edit uh, your your SharePoint list or even your Excel uh, you can do that in, in power automate so that the power automate will just uh, do some uh, it's basically uh, uh, um, to automate a flow or a task so that's what Power Automate does, and with with combination of Power Apps and of Power Automate, you can do many things in in your uh, app, especially when uh, you're using uh, other resources in uh, and features in in Microsoft. So um, here, this is Power App, and um, that's why it's one of my favorite uh, uh, platform in Microsoft because Power App you can just experiment or play around make your own um, app uh, without any uh, headache I mean do a, in knowing how to code so you can just create it from scratch and uh, just choose um, any data source that you want because power app is just creating an app more like in the front end and if you want to do some function you can also do insert some function but basically uh, with regards to the data source of it or I mean database you can choose SharePoint or Excel as your data source and of course uh, data, um, Dataverse well Dataverse is an open source web application to share preserve site explore and analyze research data um, you see researchers data authors publishers data distributors um, and affiliated institutions all receive uh, appropriate credit via a site data citation with a persistent identifier so dataverse is very um, good uh, option when you that's why you can see it here in the left panel uh, it is already here as uh, uh, displayed here because uh, dataverse is uh, directly um, associated with power apps so mainly if you want to build your own app you can just use dataverse as your data source or I mean your your data it will serve as your database but other than that if you have an existing SharePoint or Excel which usually have uh, most of the ca uh, most uh, in the case in 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 any corporate we uh, most of the corporate uh, we have a uh, SharePoint lists uh, and or even Excel spreadsheet so we can also use that as our um, data source so uh, let me show you here one of my projects that I uh, just uh, created or uh, um, just to have fun with um, I have this uh, I call it um, help this tracker tracker app so uh, let me just edit this one so I personally created this one um, as, as um, yeah uh, to just to practice in power apps so we have this existing um, SharePoint lists from our inventory uh, we, we SharePoint list as our one of our inventory for the our equipments so that is why I uh, built an app 
uh, using Power App to to see what what uh, what we can do. And so here, this is the output uh, of of what I created. Um, I call it a help this tracker app, but it's basically more on uh, combining uh, other SharePoint lists or inventory into uh, one. So so instead of going instead of browsing locating direct to the sharepoint list like for example this one instead of going to to the lists or finding your inventory in sharepoint you can just um uh, uh, use the app so for example you're in a phone or in tablet you don't need to go to the to those um a lot of sharepoint lists you can just use the power app to to do some changes or, or just check some information from it or to update so that's the one thing i like about this uh, platform and not only that it's easy to create or to build your own app but it's it's way more uh, efficient because the fact that uh, most companies or most of us already have our own or already have existing sharepoint lists so all you get to do is the data is there all you get to do is just um use the power app as as um, the front end so um, to your phone or easy access to your phone uh, so here uh, there is a select box it will automatically display this info this information by the way is from a different uh, SharePoint list so here so um, let me show you one of those inventory uh, so this is a SharePoint list, one of the lists that uh, this power app that I have pointed to. But uh, there are lots of SharePoint lists. So let me show you what it looks like. So there are basically five of them, five SharePoint lists that I um, associate with this power app to with. So um, mainly is uh, the equipment inventory. And asset management so uh, by the way this app is not uh, uh, I mean it's not being used most of the time this is just like um, uh, I created this uh, as like um, yeah like a personal project so yeah uh, if you click this one um, you will go directly to the uh, SharePoint list because so that yeah this is just to view what it looks like so you can add a record so for example if you want to add um uh for example an asset management so anyway this is so yeah you can you can select here which user does that belongs to and uh, the status of that user or employee so which employee is that and uh, this has, so once you submitted this one it will automatically um update to the sharepoint list as of where it uh it is located or pointed to so in that way you don't have to to go over to that SharePoint list you just have to you can just add it here in the app so if you have access to this in your phone which is associate which we can associate if you install it in your phone this app so you can directly um, add users without without going to the SharePoint list so that's basically the the purpose of this of having a power apps is that for the user for us to easily um, manage our um, data in Microsoft uh, in any any data and from our Microsoft or resource uh, without getting in without uh, of course um, getting into your laptop or computer so you can just do it in in a, a convenient way so that's it.